says Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert head to the CMA Awards just as it's confirmed that Shelton and Gwen Stefani, hey Dave, are dating. <laughs> Okay, it's finally official. Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani are dating. Yes! After months of rumors, Stefani's rep has confirmed, quote, Gwen and Blake are longtime friends who have very recently started dating. Both musicians are coaches on The Voice, but they have something else in common. They both just got divorced this summer. Shelton and Miranda Lambert ended their four-year marriage in July, while Stefani and her husband of 13 years, Gavin Rossdale, called it quits a month later. Here's the sticky bit. The singers confirmed their relationship just ahead of last night's CMA Awards, which were attended by both both Blake and his ex Miranda. Miranda directly. Lambert debuted a pink hair makeover on the red carpet, but inside she had to feel jokes about her shocking split from Shelton. We can't ignore the breakup that really rocked our world. Kermit, Miss Piggy. Yes, on a completely unrelated topic. Howdy, Blake. Jokes aside, it was Lambert who came out on top, winning her sixth consecutive Female Vocalist of the Year award. I appreciate it. I needed a bright spot this year. Luke Bryan scored the night's biggest prize, Entertainer of the Year. But it was newcomer Chris Stapleton's duet with Justin Timberlake that stole the show. JT got lots of love from the country audience and from his wife Jessica Beale, with the CMAs doubling as date night for the couple. And there's another couple we've got our eyes on, and they just had a pretty epic date day. Here's Justin Trudeau, sworn in as Canada's 23rd Prime Minister, with his wife, Sophie Grégoire Trudeau, by his side. I think what was remarkable about Justin's swearing in ceremony was how relaxed and relatively informal it was. It was a family occasion. Sophie looked beautiful. She was wearing a centaur coat, which is Canadian-made, and then underneath she was wearing a dress from Erdem's pre-fall collection. Uh, and he's Canadian as well. Of course, everybody's saying now that she's going to be our new Kate. She always dresses for the occasion. Sophie's signature style is really feminine. It's sometimes a little bit sexy, which I like. It's wonderful to have a new First Lady of Canada who's going to be a great platform for Canadian fashion. You want to see a freaking miracle? It warmed your heart, it made you laugh, and it took your breath away in season one. So just imagine where season two of Jane the Virgin's headed. We caught up with Gina Rodriguez, a.k.a. Jane herself, to find out. Played with the kid. Jane, actually. We've seen Jane very strong and very fearless, she sticks up for herself. But this is a territory she doesn't know about, and motherhood. And as for that love triangle... Anyone want to take Jane out to lunch? Uh, yeah, let's I'll, do it. I'll, I'll drive. I look at Michael and Raphael the way I look at Jane's pursuing of teaching and writing. One is very stable and realistic, and then the other one is a fantasy and seems too unreal to touch. New episodes of Jane the Virgin are now streaming exclusively on Show Me. And if you're a little late to jump on the bandwagon, you can binge watch all of season one on, you guessed it, Show Me. Coming up tomorrow, Brangelina. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie are premiering their new film, By the Sea, and of course, we'll have all the highlights. Earth by Show Me. Wow. Who are you? Who do you think I am? Show Me Jane the Virgin. Start your 30-day free trial today.